Hi, this is Yasu and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 168 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which multiple undergrade subintimal techniques were used to recanalize a right coronary artery CTO. The patient presented with medically refractory angina. He did have previous coronary bypass with Lima to LAD as well as mitral valve repair, and he was found to have a right coronary artery CTO that was considered to be the culprit lesion for his symptoms. He was referred for PCI of the right coronary artery CTO, and this is the dual injection. We do have an RCA CTO in the mid right coronary artery with a blunt proximal cap right at the takeoff of uh, an acute marginal branch. The length of the occlusion was short, the distal vessel was diffusely diseased, and the vessel was filling via epicardial collaterals from the left. There were also some ipsilateral epicardial collaterals. Based on these anatomic features, our plan was to try first undergrade wire escalation. If that didn't work, try retrograde through the septals, then try undergrade dissection reentry. So we tried undergrade wire escalation, but uh, we were unable to engage the occlusion, and we decided to switch to retrograde, as we thought that there was a good connection with the PDA, although there was no opacification of the PDA from the septal on this selective injection. We tried briefly undergrade, but that was unsuccessful, and uh, we decided uh, to try crossing using a dual loom microcatheter, a Sasuki, having a Sion Blue workhorse wire into the acute marginal, but once again, the wire is not moving in the course of the vessel. You can also here appreciate the tortuosity of the ipsilateral collateral supplying the right posterior lateral. Given the ambiguity of the proximal cap, we decided to do intravascular ultrasound that nicely demonstrated the location of the proximal cap. And then we did puncture of the proximal cap under intravascular ultrasound guidance using a Hornet 14 guide wire. As we can see on the IVUS, the wire seems to be entering into the intima, into the plaque of the chronic occlusion. The Hornet was then exchanged for a Mongo guide wire uh, over a Caravel microcatheter. And that seemed to advance along the anticipated course of the right coronary artery. However, then the wire stopped going in the same course and seemed to be going on the lateral wall. So it turns out that the wire went into another, into a second acute marginal branch. We were trying to advance the caravel farther down, but we were unable to do so. That was an uncrossable, microcatheter uncrossable lesion. So we used extra support using a trapliner guide extension along with a 1.0 millimeter subfire pro balloon. We then did intravascular ultrasound that um, demonstrated that uh, the wire was subintimal. We did have uh, quite some subintimal hematoma into the mid-right coronary artery. Here is the true lumen compressed, and this is the subintimal space that we have created in the mid-RCA. How to go next? The challenge here was that the wires wanted to follow the pathway of the second acute marginal. To overcome this challenge, we did the so-called side base technique. What that involves is inflating a balloon halfway in, halfway out, the side branch, the acute marginal, and then try to advance a knuckled guide wire that was a gladius mongo here and that guide wire instead of going into the side branch into the marginal it was able to actually follow the course of the distal right coronary artery so the side base technique was successful here to advance to the distal right coronary artery and then after doing that we delivered a stingray balloon and tried to do re-entry but unfortunately re-entry did not succeed in the distal rca and the reason for that was that we had created uh, a significant subintimal hematoma during our uh, attempts to advance the knuckles into the vessel. We tried several times with um, the stingray, but we were unsuccessful. And we decided to do an attempt to cross through an epicardial collateral coming from the circumflex. 
that collateral was fairly tortuous, as can be seen upon selective injection. We did try to cross it using a SUO or three guide wire, but we were unable to get through. We then switch back to under great attempts, and uh, there is a technique called the straw technique that can help decompress the hematoma created during undergrade subintimal crossing attempts. In this case, we actually advanced a balloon to block entry of blood into the subintimal space and then try to aspirate through the stingray balloon, but once again, that did not work. And uh, IVUS once again saw that we did have a large hematoma. Actually, this IVUS was done after a successful crossing, but does give an idea of the large uh, size of the subintimal hematoma. In this case, this is the true lumen with the IVUS after crossing again, and this is a subintimal space with the original guide wire in it. So, to be successful, we decided to do the full straw. We had a balloon blocking blood entry into the subintimal space. We advanced a caravel microcatheter through which we uh, did aspiration of blood to decompress the hematoma. And then we also delivered a stingray balloon. That uh, allowed uh, re-expansion of the distal vessel and uh, decrease of the size of the hematoma, which helped with uh, successful re-entry. We did use uh, the double blind stick and swap technique. This was an Astato 20 uh, stiff 20 gram guide wire that um, was advanced uh, through the side port of the stingray balloon, seemed to advance along the course of the vessel. And then contralateral injection does demonstrate that the wire seems to be going in the right direction. We did not want to affect the patency of the PDA. So to do that, uh, we did uh, another attempt to go in the PDA that was unsuccessful and ended up uh, using the Stingray balloon again at the origin of the PDA. And we were then able to successfully wire into the PDA as well, which ended up uh, being a fairly small branch. We then placed uh, stents in the right coronary artery all the way from the distal to the proximal. And that restored good undergrade Timothy flow to the right coronary artery. Several lessons from this case. The first one is when we have uh, undergrade uh, uh, dissection reentry, it is possible for the wires, even if they are knuckled, to go into side branches. In this particular case, our wires went into a first side branch at the proximal cap, but also into a second acute marginal distal to the proximal cap. To overcome this difficulty, we used the so-called side-based technique, balloon inflated halfway in, halfway out, and then another knuckle wire advanced that goes around the side branch to the distal right coronary artery. The next challenge that we had was that of a large subintimal hematoma, despite using a guide extension to minimize formation of the hematoma. The solution to this ended up being getting a balloon into the right coronary artery to block the undergrade flow of blood, and then advance both the stingray as well as a microcatheter. We aspirated through the microcatheter, decompressing the hematoma and re-expanding the distal true lumen, followed by entry using the double blind stick and swap technique. Thank you.